This is Twit. Tony Wang is here, our editor in chief. This is uh, exciting, Tony. The uh, a new Chromebook. Yes. They all kind of are somewhat similar. All sub three hundred dollars. Yes. They run Google's Chrome OS. They're yep. simple, inexpensive computers. This is Toshiba. What's different about this one? Well, so this one's a little bit different, but the biggest difference is 13.3 inches. Big screen. Big screen, a little bit bigger than the rest of them, like the Acer that we reviewed on uh, episode 106 with uh, Radford. Um, but I did go through the specs, and um, they're pretty much all the same right now. Mm -hmm. um, you're all running Celeron. I didn't know Celeron was still around. Yeah, Intel brought it back. <laughs> right. It's a 1.4 gig. <laughs> a name that no one loved in the first place. They brought <laughs> right. it back. It's like it was... Celery. Nobody likes Celery. Exactly. Um, two gigs of RAM. <laughs> two gigs. Uh, display... That's that's good. That's more than you than typical, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. So it's definitely, uh, I mean, if you look back on laptops from a few years ago, this is sort of like... A, it's a netbook. Um, netbook, of. exactly. A yeah. netbook running uh, Chrome OS. Uh, it's my first time using one, so I had no idea what, um, what to, to expect. expect. <laughs> Other than people say, oh, it's not that great, but um, I actually really enjoyed it. So the Pawn Stars in this Microsoft ad said, well, when you're not connected to the internet, and uh, you can't run Microsoft Office to it, and then you're not connected to the internet, you can't do anything. Is that legitimate uh, criticism? Yes. Um, I mean, it's true. It, it, it is true, but it's sort of like the uh, the Xbox One argument where when are you not going to be connected to right. the Internet? We're right. all connected to the Internet, right? Even on an airplane a lot of times. Right, exactly. So. If I'm home, I'm connected to the Internet right. three different ways. So, so were you able to live with Chrome OS and, and get stuff done? Well, because what we do here, we use Google Apps, so it was really easy for transitioning. Um, I signed into my accounts. You can have multiple accounts. So this is sort of... Um, I was thinking about, uh, I know people want to have like a home iPad where everybody has access to it, but you have your own account. This is sort of like the home PC where, um, or the home laptop where you can have multiple Google accounts signed right. in. And it's really easy to use. Uh, I love the keyboard. It looks like an I, a, a MacBook keyboard. It, that and it functions style. just like a MacBook yeah. keyboard yeah. as well. And um, that, so that's one of the pros is the keyboard and also the prize. A 299, it's sort of middle top range Chromebook. It's about 50 bucks more than the other guys, but that's because it has a bigger screen. Right? Exactly, and with yeah. the bigger screen, it has bigger battery, so it does get the advertised nine hour battery. Nine hours? Nine hours. That is good. With the display on you know, medium brightness. That's really great. Now, it's not a touch screen, right? No. Okay. No. That, that will you have to go for the Pixel. The Pixel, <laughs> which is 1200 bucks or something. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, the con, obviously. Um, it's not a full OS, but um, you don't. The display is also sort of a con. It's rated for 720p, so it's 1366 by 768. Yeah, 768. Yeah. Exactly. It's not the super high res screen. You'd exactly. Like, it's not. It's not the yeah. Pixel screen. At that price. Right. This is aimed at students at businesses where the employee doesn't need a whole lot of functionality. Something like ours, where Google Apps right, would right. work. Um, do you think it would work in that those kinds of environments? Definitely. Um, I know it only has like 16 gigabytes of local storage, but uh, it, you get free 100 gigabyte Google Drive storage right. for two years. And I was worried about that, but I actually found out that if you put anything in there in the two years, you actually get to keep them. You just can't modify the 100 gigabyte. So after after, after two years. Exactly. You still have so those. So fill it up there. now. <laughs> exactly. So you know if you want some, you, you can back it up. You know it's right. 100 gigabytes. Uh, you know there's some other advantages to the Chrome OS. I mean this isn't really a review of the Chrome OS. We've talked a lot about it, right. but security's great. So you don't have to worry if you if you know anything goes wrong, you can power wash. It gets right back to the starting point. And because you're logging into your Google account, it'll know everything immediately as soon as you log in. All yeah. of those I think are good selling points exactly. for basic um, users. That actually brings up one point that I was having issues with was um, to log into the laptop you're using your Google password. I know a lot of us use LastPass and OnePass. I don't know how that would work with that. Um, personally, I just have a very, very long password. Me too, and so it is kind of a con. I have to right, enter my right. Google every password every single exactly. time. It's a little frustrating. Um, there was uh, something I found that was interesting was there was a warning sticker on the bottom of the laptop mm -hmm. saying that it might get really, really hot during yeah. use because there's no fan built into right. this. Um, I actually tried to stress it, and um, 
I was not able to get it to heat up at all, not okay. like a MacBook Pro. You don't hear the fan because no, there is no fan, no fan and yeah. you don't feel the heat because uh, it, it just, doesn't get that hot. It's a cell Is it a metal case? It looks uh, nice. It's, yeah, it's completely plastic. It's a just looks like metal. Yeah, all it's right. very solid. Um, you get a little bit of play in the touchpad. How How is the touchpad? This is another thing. A lot of Chromebooks it, don't have great you know, touchpads. I, I'm a person of touching. Like, I don't like the clicking yes. on the touchpads. So it worked really well for me. Okay. Um, it's as responsive as a Mac, MacBook Pro. So, so we kind of covered the pros and cons. The next question, buy, try, don't buy? It's a buy for me. A buy, $299 for the Toshiba Chromebook. Just came out. And uh, lightweight, portable. It's Chrome OS. I mean, you know, three, that's what you're comparing yeah, against other Chrome so OS. Yeah. Not, not too bad. And I like the battery life. That's, yeah. that's the thing better than anybody on the Chrome yeah. OS, as far as I can tell. Nine hours, that's great. Thank you, Tony. Tony Wang. He's the touch kind of person. We now know this about him. <laughs> He's also our, <laughs> our editor-in-chief.